Moro. Today I show a couple of things that I'm, I've been working on about one year now, or techniques. This guitar is a two times eight string guitar. It's tuned in standard E, B, G, D, A, E, B, F sharp. And it's a one neck guitar, but I think of this guitar more like a, like a double neck. Two necks, twice eight strings, so it, the second, the upper neck is tuned exactly the same, E, B, G, D, A, E, B, F sharp. So it's a challenge to play. You can do it by tapping on the upper neck and tapping on the lower neck. You can play chords, the upper or the lower neck. I'm doing it on the lower neck. Like you can play also the regular six string guitar chords. I'm gonna uh, improvise and play over a track, quite quite simple jazz track, Cantaloupe Island. F minor, D flat seven to D minor to F minor, like uh, three three keys or two. You can also. I'll explain it later, or many of you know all these things already. But maybe you came in to look at the guitar techniques. <laughs> How to play a guitar like this. So what I did, I started, maybe 10 years ago, I started using more than one finger in the tapping hand. Like my lesson before this, like in the previous Wither That Streamed lesson, that like most players, I started off with I started off by playing the regular tapping licks with one finger and I got bored with, with that more and more and I started to think about why don't I learn to play better with the right hand with many fingers like there were lots of players on the YouTube like in my mind one of the greatest tapping players like DJ Helmerich from he lives in USA but he's got a German name, he's a guitar teacher, he can he plays with a regular six string guitar with, he's an eight finger tap, tapping player, that was a great influence, but then I saw other guys, like already in my youth, like Stanley Jordan who did, who played chords and melodies simultaneously, and difficult jazz, jazz pieces, and I became interested in more of that kind of stuff, and and but before that I started to train my right hand on the regular, the regular six string guitar, like, like like this. You can also do it on a six string guitar. Play any tapping things with, like you would do with. With your left hand, you can do them with your right, or vice versa. So what, what I, I have become more interested in is to try to play almost as almost as fluid with, with the right hand on the fretboard and with the left. I can't do it yet, but maybe one day still in this life. I don't know. Or you can do with a guitar like this. You can you can play a second voice to what you're doing if I'm in D minor. So, it's like doing two things at once, <laughs> multitasking, kind of, so. But that means that you, one has to better know what you are doing in the moment, uh, it, and it's good. If you know a lot about scales and chords and because let's say if I am in D minor here now, then I have two necks now, 
to its one neck but I like to think of this guitar as a two neck guitar the way I play I play I play it like a double neck more there are other ways of playing this guitar too like like this that you if you play an arpeggio let's say D major you know nothing here fret 12 it's a D string the G string on the lower neck 11. and 14 on G string on upper neck so there's this way of playing too that many uses that uses this kind of guitars where you don't have to work that much on the coordination between each hand's fingers it's more about this is another type of coordination between the parts of left and right hands. I'm not that good with that, but I tried to work more on this. This is my way of playing. So there, there's many ways on how to play an instrument like this. <laughs> really, like also with our 16 guitar, there are really lots of things how to play on a guitar. Oh, yeah. So, I'm gonna we're gonna work on a piece called Cantalupile. There we have the chords, F minor. I have my rig connected to two amps tonight. One is for cleaner sound. Fender Super Twin from 1980. I think it's built in 1980, so it's an old one. I cranked up the volume, the clean channel to 10, and the master down to 2 to make it distort, uh, give a little, little bit punch to the sound. Tap, yeah, you gotta have a, a slight punch in it because it's really hard to tap with super super clean like some 80s <laughs> disco guitar <laughs> then I have my regular Hughes and Kettner stereo setup with the effects pedals that I use here my studio lock and I'm a you can't see the camera, but I'm switching with a boss pedal between those amps. So I'm using three amps actually. One for clean, and two for... ...for lead. So what I'm gonna do... So, if you have a guitar like this, a little bit tips on... Okay, workouts. <laughs> like we did in a... I guess I showed in the previous video a little bit workouts like okay let's talk about I show it quite simple here now yeah. F minor seven chord and I can play F minor pentatonic or blues scale but this is an F minor pentatonic the regular sound. Every guitarist knows this scale. I'm sure about that. So, you can do this on the regular six string. You can work on this by hammering. scale minor pentatonic sorry I try to keep it this easy so if I learn a shape here in the left or you, I guess you already know this scale it's a little bit too many strings on this one on the sixth string it's like 13 16 13 15 13 15 13 15 13 16 13 16 F minor and I'm using the same 
ladder, but with my right hand. the chord here so the chord and the scale of course if you are familiar with improvising you can start to play a toy around with the notes you, you know that stuff, but okay. So I have the chords here. So I do two things at once. You can also actually do this with a regular six string. I'll show you, I'll show you. Just a second. Okay. Okay. I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting the chord here. With minus seven and the scale. Up here from fret 13. 13, 16, 13, 15, 13, 15, 13, 15, 13, 16, 13, 16. So I have the chord. So now I change chord. I'm going after the piece. The chords are from the piece Cantaloupe Island, so I have a D flat seven. And you can stay in a F blue scale, so if we have the minor pentatonic, we're gonna add one note, minor pentatonic on the sixth string, 13, 16, 13, 15, 13, 15, 13, 15, 13, 16, 13, 16. F blue scale, 13, 16, 13, 14, 15, 13, 15, 13, 15, 16, 13, 16, 13, 16. So, we want to do this simple now in the beginning. There are countless variations and ways of mixing different types of the 12 notes in Western music, or if you want to play microtonal stuff, you can start to experiment with notes that are not in our Western system, like Eastern. F blue scale and F pentatonic, they are almost the same. One note only, one note difference. The blue scale has a flattened fifth. Devil's interval. Just kidding. But somewhere a couple of hundreds of years ago, they thought it was, it was forbidden classical music to use, it, use this interval in comp compositions. So I'm showing first on a six string here to make it a little bit simpler. So I have the pentatonic here in my right hand. Same with the left. I show it again on the six string. Wanna work with the sixteen string soon again? So if I play the chord, you can do this also in the begin beginning on a six string. I'm working from the piece Cantaloupe Island. So. I D flat seven, dominant seven. So I can stay in the F blues scale. Then the next chord will be D minor. Then I will change the scale to, a, for simplicity's sake, a D minor pentatonic. And that scale is, I guess, you most of. You all guitar players know these scales and other musicians. So this is very basic and simple now. So we have kind of... We can actually go by two scales. F blue scale. 
and D minor pentatonic. Those two. So, some ideas here on a. Sorry, I had another shape for it. <laughs> Close as possible here on the F position. If we stay in the same shape, I, I'd go down here. I'm back there. Let's try this now. Did a 16 string. And this one is built by Felix Martin in the USA, Los Angeles. He's a great player, really. One of the world's greatest tapping players, two hand players. Check out his videos on YouTube. He's, he's really, really good. So, so now I'm playing the same F minor chord here and the scale on the upper neck. I changed sound. If it's more natural for you, you can do it the other way around. You could play the chords with this hand and the melodies with this hand. Sometimes. So what I, what I like I previously said, I started working out the same exercise that I used to do with my left hand. I started working work out with my right hand. Those same steel by one, two, three, four. And I noticed you can do them simultaneously. Now it's in quarters. playing uh, in third so two different ne necks this is one way to do two to put it in, into solos you can use whatever intervals or separate melodic ideas but it is very difficult <laughs> in, to improvise with that it's really you can that's a real challenge. Maybe in the next life. Oh uh, yeah. So. So let's. Uh, yeah. But yes, you can work on these. And then. The other challenge is after you start to have them a little bit together. The coordination with the right hand. Simultaneously with the left to make it sync. I'm still working on it on a daily basis, exercises like this and all these chromatic finger exercises. I'm working on them on daily with, with both hands actually. Sometimes I do it on a six string, like <laughs> let me see, I, I don't know if it's possible to play like this. Yes, it is. On one neck, like this. <laughs> And then to, so the challenge is there when you start to improvise. To on the spot play and know what you're doing and, and make it also sound as well as possible. Because it's chances are to screw up. <laughs> 
much more likely with this many strings while improvising some new things. But so one was the chord and melodies or solos. Another technique would be using them as separate necks and playing. So now I'm playing like one with the right hand, one with the left, right? Ah, I'm not sure if this shows the guitar in mirror, like mirror position somehow because I have the camera so I can see that there are people on <laughs> So I guess this shows now like I'm playing, I'm not sure, <laughs> I'll have to check it after. So what I did? Right, left, right, left, right. I learned this from Guru Felix Mark. So that was one type of technique that you can expand then to very, very, very hard stuff, difficult, more difficult stuff. These were the basics. my way of working on things so it became slightly better but if I repeat this tomorrow the day after so, re so in one month I'll be much much better on that uh, technique this was the first time I didn't intend to play that but I just came up with it so but now I'm gonna stick to the plan and play over with these techniques now over the cantaloupe island. I try to dampen the strings a little bit. Yes. So first I try to stick to the very basics with the F minor blues scale and D minor pentatonic. I'll show you an example with the backing now. Okay. Let's try with the this clean sound first. So F minor.
adding one more scale. A D flat, flat five. Next will be a flat five. Sounds like this. To D Dorian. Check out the Dorian scale from my previous lesson. Also on this Instagram page. Save the Instagram TV of my I'm walking with it. Except the major third. I mean the B flat. It's really different. Doing the same. Chromatics too with the B Dorian. This is a regular six string two or, or an eight. So now I focused on playing left hand and right hand. Oh. 
more like random intervals random within the scale larger not the larger and I'm gonna um, try to jump between ideas uh, quicker playing a technique a short time and jumping to the next I'm gonna try at least Upon. You will stumble upon new things 
because mm. you force yourself to think and listen in the moment. I came up with something I'm gonna work on. The right. Yes, yes. So that is the great thing with music. You, you, you will. We will learn all the time. So if I would ma make this even more complex, I would use it in a so vocal song and sing and play harmonies. I, I try. I tried it with some simple knocking on heaven's door. I'm going to. I think I'm going to do it also in the summer because I'm going to be working as a musician. Really a lot this summer too. A lot in all, and at a tourist place where people come from all over the country to spend vacation and want to play there like four nights in a row and then one week break and four nights again, you know, like five times, like 20 gigs in two months at the same place. So it's going to be fun again, my third year there. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll save this online. So this is my main six-string guitar. I use it on every gig. This one built in Tampere by Taisto, and this one is built by Felix Martin in, in California. FM guitars, this one. And this one, Taisto guitars. Okay, thanks. See you again.